Assalamu alaikum welcome back to coding with t today we are going to learn how to set up native splash screen in flutter if you are already following you know that we are creating flutter e-commerce application and today we are officially going to start our section 2 in which we will start developing our application in the previous tutorial we learned how to set up or configure our application in a way that any large application can easily be configured and definitely our project should be designed in a way that we can easily enhance new functionality or we can reuse our project features and functionalities in other projects so in section 2 we're going to learn how to create login applications the first thing we need before coding anything is a splash screen because every app has a brand so it's a best way to do the branding so without wasting time let's get started with the coding open android studio and we are inside our flutter project so the first thing we need to do is go to the pubspec.yml file and inside you have to add flutter native splash this is the url of flutter native splash and you have to get the latest version from here just copy it open the pubspec.yml file and you just have to paste it once pasted you can run from the terminal flutter pubget or hit pubget from here once the dependency is added there are two ways to add flutter native splash the first one is we can directly start coding inside the pubspec.yml file and the other way is we should create a separate file and then add anything related to splash screen inside that new file the reason to create a separate file for splash screen is that we can simply copy and paste that splash file into other projects so let's first start creating at the top at the root level right click create a new file we are going to name it splash.yml this is a yaml file so let's hit enter now to create a flutter native splash screen inside this we just have to write flutter native splash colon in the yaml file we have to be very careful with the spaces so you can see at the top we don't have any space and then next it's automatically given two spaces one and two now we have to create properties for both the light mode and for the dark mode so first of all let's see if we want to add color to our background to add a color we have a color property in which i'm going to pass light color in the previous story i talked about that you have to add hexa colors to use colors in the dart but in here inside this yaml file you don't have to add hexa you just have to directly add your color and definitely it will be inside double quotes and then if you want to add dark mode you have again another property called color underscore dark and inside you have to pass the dark color next to add a logo we are going to use the image property or to add the light mode image again it's a light mode so first of all you have to add assets go to assets inside the logos i have add, added two images this is for the light mode and this is for the dark mode so to copy this right click and go to copy path reference copy the path from content root go to yaml file and paste it right you can see i have not added any single quote or double quotes then same control d to duplicate and for the dark mode logo it's again image underscore dark copy path reference and i have to copy the same image and paste it over here basically the splash screen is ready but one more thing that if you're going to use your application above android 12 you just have to write android 12 again right below this image dark and you just have to copy and paste files the same way we have at the top and then down below we are going to use web as for because web is not going to keep contain any splash screen and you can see the indentation now here comes the tricky part in which you have to put your focus open the terminal you have to write this command flutter pub run flutter native splash colon create because we want to create the splash screen and then with the two hyphens path should be provided because we are creating a separate file if you don't have separate file you just have to write colon create and that's it you don't have to pass this path over here but if you want to create a separate file if it's inside some other folder you have to write a folder complete path but as we have directly inside the root directory splash.yml we don't have to provide any path so hit enter again you can see that our splash screen is completed and it's already added inside our project Okay, so let's run the application. Okay, as you can see with the dark mode, splash screen appears for a few seconds and it's gone. Now let's try to switch it to the light mode. Let's rerun it and you can see the light mode appears for a few seconds and again it's gone. So this is how we create splash screens in Flutter. Now the next thing is that how we can remove it. Let's go to terminal again. If you want to remove your Flutter splash screen, we just have to write again Flutter pub run. 
flutter native splash colon previously we write create and now we have to write remove and that's it you just have to hit enter and your flutter native splash will be removed and one more thing that in upcoming videos in the main road dart we are going to add native splash over here because we want our native splash to wait until our application loads properly and all the backend or the database loads so in the upcoming videos we will first write a wait sign over here and then we are going to remove the splash screen in the authentication repository okay so that's it for today's video i hope you learned something new if you learn something new please like the video and if you're new to this channel don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified of all the upcoming videos if you want to get the code you can get it from the codingwitty.com link is also in the description once again thank you for watching take care allah office